Hello, this is Alexander Cross, Criminal Defense here in the San Francisco Bay Area. If you'd like to learn more about criminal defense, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Law Offices of Cross and Associates, and feel free to ask questions in the comments section below so that we may respond in the future with more videos. So, we received an interesting inquiry here on our YouTube channel. This has to do with somebody who is having a fight in public while on probation. Let's see here. One night when returning home after work, I found others who protested in the streets. Uh, they blocked the street, and as I wanted to pass, they just blocked me. And I defended myself. In the end, I was arrested. Okay, so they just blocked you, and you defended yourself. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on a sec. See, somebody's blocking your path. And let's say there's no way for you to circle around. There's no way to get on the other side. They're just blocking you. Theoretically, that is a false imprisonment. That would theoretically be a violation of Penal Code Section 236 here in the state of California. That actually carries up to three years state prison for the person who is blocking you, especially if they're keeping you from getting away. Now, I don't know the exact situation here, but let's say they were just blocking you from passing, but you still could go back. Well, it says right here that they blocked you and you defended yourself. That sounds a little odd, I'll tell you why. See, because if somebody's just blocking you, you don't have the right to punch them in the face so that you could pass. No, if somebody's blocking you, you basically need to call the police. That's really what you need to do. Remember, you can only use physical force to protect yourself from an immediate danger. And you can only use the minimal force necessary to avoid suffering additional harm, all right? somebody punches you, you can't shoot them in the head. I mean, it's just, no, it's, it has to be consistent. It has to be consistent with what he's doing. For instance, if somebody punches you and he keeps going, yes, you can use the minimal force necessary to keep him off of you and to stop him. Now, let's say hypothetically, somebody attacks you, you punch him, and then they're no longer punching you back. You can't then just keep hitting him, hitting him, hitting him, and hitting him, and kicking him on the floor unconscious. No, you can only use the minimal force necessary to keep yourself from suffering additional harm. Now, if somebody's blocking you, you're not really suffering any harm. There's no immediate threat. So if you punch him, you're the aggressor and you're going to get charged. If somebody blocks your way, you, you just need to call the police. You know, but don't get physical with that person because you are not in immediate danger. They're just blocking you. It's not a danger but they're punching you, they're attacking you, that's when you can use force. But remember, only just enough to keep him from continuing. It sounds like in this situation, if somebody's blocking your way and you couldn't pass and you just punched him in the face to try to get off or to, to pass, they're gonna charge you at least with a violation of Penal Code Section 242 here in the state of California, which is a battery that carries up to um, six months in the county jail. Remember here in the state of California, there are no stand your, um, there are no stand your ground laws. So you can't just be punching somebody to be able to pass. Regardless, if you'd like to learn more about criminal defense here in the San Francisco Bay Area, don't forget to subscribe to your channel, Law Offices of Cross and Associates, and feel free to ask questions in the comment section below so that we can respond in the future with more videos. But if you've been accused of a crime and need representation in court here in the San Francisco Bay Area, call us now for free consultation at 1-800-862-7677. On our next video, we're going to be discussing the case of somebody who got accused of indecency at work. Criminal lawyer, criminal lawyers, DUI lawyer, DUI lawyers, criminal attorney, criminal attorneys, DUI attorney, DUI attorneys.